Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to format text with a rainbow gradient in DaVinci Resolve 17. Inside your edits window, go to effects library and underneath the toolbox, select titles and go to choose text plus. Click and drag one of these to the start of your edit timeline. Use the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A to click and drag from the end of the text edit to change the duration. By default, this particular text edit will last on screen for five seconds. Ensure that this edit is selected. Go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appear on screen inside the first box. For the font choice, I will choose Cooper Black. and I will increase the size of the text to 0.27. Go to Shading, under Properties, change type from Solid to Gradient. If you select the first node which appears underneath the Shading Gradient bar which appears below Gradient, we can see that the value attached to this particular node is 0.0. .0. The second node at the far right side of the shading gradient bar is 1.0. In order to create the rainbow gradient, what we need to do is insert multiple nodes underneath the shading gradient bar, each representing a different color shade of the rainbow. The difference in value between each of these node positions will be 0.14. That will enable an even color spread across the text message that you want to have displayed on your video. For the first node which is selected and contains the shade black, we need to double click on this one and change this to red. Ensure that you use vibrant color shades in your rainbow gradient. The hexadecimal code that I have used to type into the HTML box at the bottom to select my color is hashtag FF0004. Click OK. Now drag your mouse cursor to the section to the right of the first node underneath shading gradient. As you raise your mouse cursor towards the actual color bar, you should see your mouse cursor change with an addition symbol appearing to the bottom right side of your mouse arrow. Left click once to insert a new color gradient node. Note how the value for this second node is 0.1. As mentioned previously, we need each of the nodes separated by 0.14. Double click on the color box. The second color shade we will use here is orange. The hexadecimal code is hashtag FF8101. Click OK. Insert your fourth node at 0.28. Select the color box and use the hexadecimal code hashtag FFEF05 to insert a bright yellow shade. Click OK. Insert your fifth node at 0.42. Select the color box. And for a green color shade, type in hashtag 38FF03. Insert your sixth node at 0.56. Select the color box and select a light blue color shade with hashtag 11FBFF. Insert the seventh node at 0.7. Select the color box and insert a bright blue color with hashtag 016FFF. Insert node 8 at 0.84. Double click on the color box and insert a light purple shade with hashtag DF2DFF. Finally, select the node which is already on the shading gradient bar at 0.1 and change this to 0.96. Select the color box. Use hashtag FF38E5. Scroll down the properties underneath Inspector to find Mapping Angle. In order to have the color shades of the rainbow spread out horizontally on your text, change Mapping Angle to minus 90. And to have the rainbow gradient stretch across the whole text message, change mapping level from character to text. For the next part of this tutorial, we will create a border around each of the letters. 
Return to your edits timeline. Click and drag your text plus edits directly above to the next video track. To further illustrate the use of borders, I will use a solid white background color to make these stand out more. You can insert one by returning to your effects library and underneath generators in toolbox. Go to select solid color. Click and drag one of these generators to the video track directly below your text plus edit. Select the solid color edit. Go to inspector. Double click on the color box. And I will change this to white. Select your text plus edit again. Hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Drag your red playhead to the end of the text plus edit. Hold Ctrl and press V to paste. With your duplicate text plus edit selected, go to Inspector, underneath Shading, and under Properties, change Appearance to Text Outline. Increase Thickness to 0.025. Scroll down the properties to find type. Change from gradient to solid. And in this example here, I will change the outline color to black. Select your duplicate text plus edit. Click and drag this to a video track directly above your original text plus edit and solid color. Drag your red playhead over with the selection mode tool to see a preview. To change the positioning of your text, go to Layout underneath Inspector once you have selected the text plus edit. Increase Center X to shift the text to the right. Decrease this to move the text to the left. Increase Center Y to shift the text upwards. Decrease this to move the text downwards. Ensure that the Center X and Y coordinates for both text plus edits are the same. In this particular example, I will keep the center X and Y values for both the border and the text itself at 0.5. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.